Hello everyone, I am Assistant Professor Sriya Shinde, PCC. Welcome you all again to the next lecture on the engineering curve. Uh, today we are going to study involute. So first of all, we will understand what is involute. So involute it is a curve which is a trace by an end point of a line or end point of a string if it is wound or unwound around the circle or any polygon. So by example, we will see quickly what actually is involute so that you can understand easily. So suppose this is a circle and this is a string and to the end of string I have attached one pin. So when I am going to wound this string around this circle as you can see. So this path traced by end of this inelastic string by keeping this string always in tension. So this path is called as involute. And today we are going to study how to draw this involute. So as you can see the problem is here draw involute of a circle of 44 mm diameter. So first of all you have to understand the location of a circle in the page. As you can see in this problem the location of curve. So if you will draw a circle somewhere here in the middle of page it may be possible that you are not able to trace your curve properly. So the starting of the circle or the position where you are going to draw the circle is going to play an important role. So approximately if this is the space then you are supposed to draw your circle here with given diameter. So diameter is 44 so you have to remember that in the compass you have to take distance equal to radius. In examination in nervousness most of student take in the compass distance equal to 44 mm and what happens is that in this case 44 mm becomes the radius and diameter of circle becomes 88. So always remember if diameter is given half of its distance should be taken in the compass and then you have to draw this circle. So I already drawn this circle with 44 mm diameter. Once you will draw this circle of 44 mm diameter then divide this circle into 8 equal parts 44, 45 degrees, 8 equal parts. Then at the bottom of this line draw a tangent or bottom of the circle draw a tangent. This tangent means this perpendicular to this vertical line. So this tangent its length should be equal to the circumference of a circle. So how much is the circumference of a circle or what is the formula for circumference of a circle? So formula for circumference of a circle is pi d or we can say that it is also equal to 2 pi r circumference Reference of a circle. It is pi d or 2 pi r. So in this case multiply this 44 by pi and you will get the circumference of a uh, circle and its distance is around 132.23 mm. So mark that distance here. Once you mark pi d distance here, uh, since we have divided circle into 8 equal parts, we have to divide this distance pi d into 8 equal parts. So again for doing that you need to draw an acute angle at any one end of line. So suppose I will draw an acute angle on this end of a line, any acute angle and you have to take points, any specific points of specific distances. Suppose I will take one constant distance of 10 mm and I will draw 8 point on this line. So 1, 2. Always remember that to remove parallax error from your drawing, your eyesight should be always perpendicular to the scale. That's how you will be able to remove the parallax error. So once you mark the point, name the points. So next point to this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is last point number 8. Since I want to divide this line into 8 equal parts, I have to pick points. Now join this last point number 8 to end of a line. End of a line. Once you will do that, now set your drafter scale or roller parallel to this line and draw lines parallel this line. Suppose I will give this point name as P. So you have to draw lines parallel to 8P through all these points. And once you will do that, you will divide this line into 8 equal parts. 
as you can see i also divided this line into eight equal parts now i'll name here o now next step as you can see the point next to this is named as one and the numbering is given now i'll also name this all the points on the circumference of a circle as we are going to bound thread in this direction that is anti clockwise direction so point next to the bottom point i'll name it as 1 2 3 so we have to give numbering in anti clockwise direction and the last will become point number 8 if you are dividing circle into 12 equal parts then you have to divide this pi d distance into 12 equal parts now the next step as we have drawn normal at point number 8 similarly you are supposed to draw normal at all these point how to draw normal you have a drafter and the scales of drafter are perpendicular to each other so if you will align one scale of drafter to suppose this o 1 then you another scale with that scale you will be able to draw the tangent if you are drawing with this scale so approximately how you can draw if you if you match this scale line exactly with 0 1 then this scale with the help of this scale you will be able to draw approximately the perpendicular lines that's how you are supposed to draw the tangent at each and every point as you can see i have drawn normal at all the eight points of a circle so now we'll move towards the next step now you are supposed to take the distances now take in the compass distance equal to 1 p 1 p put your compass on the one and cut the point on this tangent to o1 so put your compass here and draw this point so we'll name this point as point number p1 so what you have done we took distance equal to 1 p we put compass on this one and we cut one point here so we'll get point p1 similarly now taking the compass distance equal to 2 p take this compass come to this tangent at point number 2 and you'll get another point so this is point number 2 that is p2 similarly take in the compass distance equal to 3 p and get a point on this tangent to the and this point is p3 similarly get all the points up to p7 start now as you can see i have transferred all the distance that is 4p here so i got point p4 5p here i got point 5 p5 6p and 7p so we'll get point number 7 in this case uh we are supposed to draw the involute of a circle of diameter 44 mm so this length of a string that we are going to bound around the circle is exactly equal to the circumference of a circle and that's why we took pi d distance and we have divided it into eight equal part so once we'll start either wound or you can one unwound also so we'll start our curve from p then you have to join it to 1 p1 p2 p3 p4 p6 p7 and since the length of thread is equal to circumference so your thread will end here since it is starting from here and then it will end here so you have to draw a smooth curve passing through all these point starting from point p and the its end is going to be at 8 so as you can see i have drawn a smooth curve starting from p passing through p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 and the curve is ending at 8 so this is the path traced by end of this inelastic string when it is either wound or unwound around the circle so this is the procedure as a part of dimensioning since diameter is given i have given the diameter and also mentioned pi d distance so by mistake in the first uh, i told uh, 132 but it is 138.23 so mention this dimensions so once again we'll just quickly revise the procedure draw for involute draw the circle of given diameter taking the compass distance equal to radius draw the circle divide the circle into eight equal parts then at the bottom point of the circle draw a tangent 
take distance pi d on that. Since we are dividing circle into eight equal parts, divide this pi d distance into eight equal parts. Name this start next point to starting point one and accordingly give the numbering. Since we are going to bound this string here in this direction, that is anti-clockwise direction. So next point or bottom to next point that is point number one and accordingly give numbering in anti-clockwise direction. Then at next step. For each and every point on the circumference of a circle, draw the tangents. Now, next step is only to transfer the distances. Take in the compass distance equal to one to p. Put your compass on the one, and you'll get point p one. Take in the compass distance equal to two to p. Put your compass on two. Cut the point, you'll get point p two. Similarly, you'll get all the points, and you uh, once you'll get all the points up to p seven, then you are supposed to draw the path. A smooth path passing through these points, starting from P1 and ending at P. And with the dimensioning, you will be able to get this problem properly. Uh, so procedure is very easy. And if we we'll talk about the applications of involute uh, gears, the profile of the gears or tooth that is the involute profile. And this is the application of this curve involute. I hope you understood this. Uh, practice this and solve the assignment questions. Thank you.